They said I should tell my story. A story of being ripped from his family, stripped of his culture. The Lord God is your father now. Yet finding refuge on the rink. Indian Horse is based on the novel by the late Richard Wagamese. The author's poetic words now translated to the screen. The film is stark. It doesn't shy away from depicting cruel racism and the lingering scars of the residential school system. Montreal director Stephen Campanelli, who recruited his friend Clint Eastwood to executive produce, follows several decades of Saul's life, portrayed by three actors. Sladen Pelche, who plays the youngest Saul, was plucked directly from his team's roster. He had no acting experience. A year later, he was nominated for a Canadian Screen Award. His coach father coached him on set, and both parents supported him through emotional scenes. Sladen's reaction to his new role can sound like any kid. I was like, wow, I'm going to be in a movie. Whoa. At other times, it's clear the 11-year-old understands the power of this story. This is to teach people about what happened and um, it's to help people heal from what happened. I had to get out. I had to get out. Painful to watch for Fred Sasakamus, the first Indigenous man to play in the NHL and a residential school survivor himself. I brought back some... Uh, you know, feelings, right? The, the hurt that, uh, that I went through in 1940, 1939. I always wanted to go home. You know, I always wanted to. For Sasakamus, it was much easier to watch the hockey scenes, even as Saul is floored by racial slurs from both teammates and fans. They got shocked seeing Indians skate. The more you yell at me as a red skin, you know, the more, the, you know, I wanted to continue. The Flyers explode early, spearheaded by record-breaking Reggie Leach. As did Reggie Leach, a former Philadelphia Flyer and the league's top goal scorer in the mid-70s. His real-life path used as inspiration in the fictional film. They're saying Reggie Leach is going to tear up the record books. He's an Indian kid just like you. I was the Indian guy. I finally had the white guys chasing me. So that's why I looked at it. I remember my coach, Pat Chanel, telling me that the uh, only reason they're calling your names, everything, they're, they're, noticing, they're noticing you on ice. Saul is told the same thing in the movie by his coach. For the actor who plays the older Saul, Indian Horse tells necessary truth for all Canadians. For the Indigenous audiences that come to see it, I think it's really important for them to be able to see their, their stories on the big screen and see something that kind of validates their stories. <laughs> and while these real-life Indigenous players made it to the NHL, the film isn't a fairy tale. Saul doesn't make it past the abuse to the big leagues. It uh, showed the truth about the, the racism and the, uh, the way they treated Saul. I mean, it happened to a lot of people, uh, including myself. No sugarcoating a story that many say needs to be told and widely shared. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Toronto.